All right. There is a corrupted zone to the left, so I'll head to the corrupted zone, and then we head north to the Banuke, and then we get to the town, and then we go all oh, friggin'. My goal is to actually go to Meridian today at some point, but right now the game is upsetting me, and I don't want to reward it by, <laughs> by doing what it's telling me to do. Yeah, the map is huge. And they do a decent job of making it not feel empty, which is what a lot of open world games have a problem with, is it just feels really empty. Like, you generally might, you, like, you legitimately have a, a reason to, like, want to know where you can find specific uh, robots in case you want to farm things for parts for upgrades. Like, they did a good job with that. Um, they definitely could have done better. Don't mind me. Are those? Don't tell me those are thunder jaws over there. Just you guys, heck off. I'm not, not in the mood. Whatever those are, I have to actually kill them because they are part of this corrupted zone. Rock breakers. What? What? What am I witnessing? Oh no! <laughs> ah. <gasps> Fuck. What are they fighting now? How many scrappers are there for them to kill? <laughs> this was one of the most terrifying things that I have witnessed in this game so far, and I know I'm going to die if I try to kill these things. It moves. How did he see me? That was all of my health. You know, I've thought about my position like my position in life here and my my stance on how I feel about completing certain aspects of the game. I've been humbled, some might say, by the things that I have witnessed today. I am a big enough man to know when I am outclassed and those two monstrosities are too much for me to handle at the moment. I could spend the next two hours miserably understanding their entire, uh, their entire shtick, how they move, how they behave, all of that jazz. Or I could not, and I'll come back later when I learn. <laughs> so in the meantime, 
the game, for some reason, has decided that when I die, I'm just going to appear wherever the fuck they feel like putting me. And now they wanted to put me in a hunting ground. So, sure, let's go do the hunting ground. As long as I don't have to deal with any rock breakers, how bad could it be? Right now, the game is just kind of slapping me around a little bit and calling me a silly boy. Do you have anything of interest? Shadow sharp shot bow? Do I have a shadow sharp shot bow? It requires a sawtooth heart. Shadow rattler? What is this? Close range bolt gun fires multiple projectiles with each shot. It's like a shotgun type thing? Interesting. Okay. War bow. Elemental payloads. Okay, so that's similar to. Okay. I can make a shadow trip caster. Do I have a shadow? I don't even know what weapons I have right now, if I'm going to be honest with you. Let's see. I have a shadow trip caster and a shadow hunter bow. The everything, every, nothing else is shadow grade. Do you have anything else of interest in here? Because you do look like you have new stuff compared to previously. All of these require, like, specific hearts. I have a golden fast travel pack already. I can make plenty of health potions. I will be keeping my uh, golden thingy forever. Thank you. I'm going to keep the fox bones, too, because I feel like I had a reason to keep those. I don't need fast travel packs anymore. Yeah, this is useful. All right, let's save and have a word with the keeper. Hello there. Aren't you a little out of your way, Nora? Your sacred lands don't extend this far. I go where I like. What do you do here? I'm the keeper of these hunting grounds, which means, of course, that I'm the local representative of the Hunter's Lodge. To be more specific, I oversee the leverage trials here. Not that a vagabond Nora has any chance at passing them. Wow. You might be surprised. I doubt it. So how did you wind up here? I didn't wind up here. It's an honor. I don't expect you to get it, but I'm well regarded at the Hunter's Lodge back in Meridian. I get the feeling they sent you out here to keep you out of their way. They sent you out here to pitch your tent in the wilds? <laughs> Are you going to take part in a trial or stand here prattling at me? This guy's annoying. Tell me about the trial. These hunting grounds offer the leverage trials. They focus on gaining an edge by leveraging machines against each other. You might, for instance, take a weapon from one machine and use it on another. It's hard, but the firepower is often worth the risk. Interesting. I don't know how to do that. Pick a trial. All right. Ravager. Thunderjaw. Oh, no. Okay. Ravager versus trial, machines. You must use the cannon on a Ravager's back to take down other machines. You can shoot the cannon off or use that special spear of yours to take control of the Ravager and make it fight for you. Oh, and here's a special tip. Try using tear blast arrows on Ravager cannons. They'll knock them off in one hit. Okay, your mouth is not matching your words, but okay. Very well. Get All right, I need to find, where's the Ravager? Well, that is the Thunderjaw. That's a Ravager right over there.
That doesn't look like it's going very well. Are there any other Ravagers that I might be able to try and take over? That one, okay. Hold the override. I've got 10 seconds left to get another kill here. Ooh, we did it with two seconds to spare. Good job, Ravager. I'm proud of you. I wish I could take these uh, zip lines in the reverse direction. This time, I actually did it on my first try. What do you have to say about that, friendo? I, I can't believe it. You've earned a blazing sun on the first try. Yeah. No, nothing else to say about that? Okay. Ravager control trial. I know who you are, girl. The Nora who can control machines. So I've got a trial just for you. Use your spear to take control of two Already did that. Get them to help you take down a Thunderjaw. Okay. A fine choice. Okay, so there's one th Ravager over here and one over on the other side. So I'll get this one and then I will make a break for the other one. Now I need to find the other one. It's over there. What are Thunderjaws even weak to? I did nothing. Ooh, that has a lot of range on that explosion. He's down. He's almost dead. Oh, and I got time to spare. Got it. That's pretty cool. Hey, what's up, guys? Looks like I need to grab some of these mods. These look fantastic. Thank you so much for the raid, Jake Cruzen. How's it going? <coughs> welcome, welcome. How's everybody doing tonight? I just killed my first Thunderjaw, so that's pretty cool. <coughs> I'm doing pretty good. Uh, playing some Horizon. Oh, this is the group of friends that Elena told me about. 
welcome everybody uh cracker has told me about you guys and how she's been having fun playing with you on the I think among us so it's good to see you guys uh i am my name is dan my entire shtick is that i try and play as many different games as i can and i've been counting how many i've i've beaten for a while i actually think it's like 740 something if i do like this <coughs> You can see the uh, the list of everything. There's a lot of them. Anyway, I need to clear out of my inventory some modifications, some ones that are particularly useless. Pretty much anything that's green, I don't care about. I'll just leave those there. Just litter a little bit. I'll take those, thank you. Oh yeah, this is Horizon Zero Dawn. This is the first time I've played through this game. Currently, there I'm at a, a hunting ground, and they're giving me different like tasks that I have to complete within a certain time to get medals. So, uh, what were you guys? Uh, what were you guys playing? Let's go get this guy who's going to be so surprised that I completed it. I, I can't believe it. You've earned a blazing sun on the first try. Fall guys? How, how uh, did anybody win? Because uh, usually winning is not in my cards. All right. I don't know what Thunderjaw versus Ravager means. Does that mean I have to take over the Thunderjaw? For this trial, you must use the Thunderjaw's cannon to destroy Ravagers. You can shoot the cannon off, or use that special spear of yours to take control of the Thunderjaw and make it fight for you. Oh, and you may want to use Tear Blast arrows on the Thunderjaw's cannon. One hit will knock it right off. You're doing pretty good. You download it so you can play next time. Good luck. I have to go. As you like. Alright, so this guy wants me to use the Thunderjaw's weapon, and I feel like this trial would be much easier if I'm able to take over the Thunderjaw. And I currently cannot take over the Thunderjaw. So I'm going to save that mission and come back here once I get the ability to override a Thunderjaw. Which could be you in that cauldron right there in all honesty. But I think it's time for me to start working my way to Meridian. Should I go get the tall neck? Maybe I'll go get the tall neck. So I'll work my way down this way and then go over to the tall neck and then I will zip on over to Meridian. Fall Guys is pretty fun though. I think it's more fun when you play with a group of friends. I played Fall Guys for a little bit, but I couldn't really come up with a good criteria for beating it. I was thinking about doing, um, getting all of the achievements in the game. Uh, but I think there's an achievement for winning, like getting the crown five games in a row. Which, uh, feels astronomically difficult. What is this that's eyeing me? Okay, that's a Ravager. That's fine. Yeah, it just, it just sounds like no shot. So I didn't really have a good like ending criteria for Fall Guys. And then I just kind of gave up trying to uh, <laughs> trying to mark it completed for any reason. It's, it's weird coming up with uh, completion criteria for like multiplayer or open-ended games like that. Uh -huh. 
Okay, there's currently nobody in here, but this definitely looks like an area that's gonna have like bandits in it in a future mission. But since the coast is clear, I'm just gonna come in here, pick up a cup, and be on my way. We got the cup. Now there's another cup over there. Very exciting, just going and collecting random cups. Have we unlocked all of the skill tree in Road Redemption? Well, I think I marked Road Redemption as completed once we got the golden golden bike. Is it not on there? I thought I I thought it was. But I mean, we might have unlocked all, everything on the skill tree. We might not have maxed it all out. Save these for the trail. I don't remember. Okay, should I be going left or right around this mountain? I think I want to be going right. It is a fun game. We got to play that older one that I found, too. It looks like that was what the original was based off of. Okay, well, how am I supposed to get through here? I fit through here. Is there actually a path through here? It's not looking good. <laughs> I wish they had put more, like, shortcuts in these big mountains. It's a pain in the butt. Um, okay, it looks like I can get on this road and just take the road around to get to where I want to go. Which is kind of silly. I'm just gonna fast travel. I am falling, okay. Well, now I'm not falling. Dumb. All right. Let's go on my mount. We'll go for a ride. All right. We're going to head north. We're going to follow the road. And we're not going to get tempted to just brute force our way over every single mountain that we see. Because uh, I do that a lot. That looks like a caravan over there. Don't mind me. Just just pass it through. I come in peace. Snap maws over there. It's a bit further down before we can get on the trail that leads up to the cup. Alright, I believe we're going up here. We got the cup. There's some enemies here, and this set of ruins also feels like something we're going to be exploring in a mission. I really should probably be heading for Meridian in the near future. A lot of these places that they're taking me are places that I would end up going in missions. So I'm just kind of wasting time going here ahead of time, or like ahead of the schedule. 